plant parts and their function. You might have plants at your home. Plants can be inside the house or outside, and they can be large, like a tree, or small, like a rose. Some plants are very pretty and have lots of color in their leaves and flowers. A plant that has red or purple can be used to make paint or dye. Plants give us many things. Most people feel good looking at flowers, and people often give flowers as presents. Many plants, like roses, smell so good that they're used in perfume. Others are used in medicine. Some plants give us food like carrots or apple and banana trees. Many animals also eat plants. Can you think of an animal that eats bananas? Trees give us shade that keeps us cool on a hot day. We use trees for exercise when we climb them to play. Most plants grow in the ground. They begin as a seed. The seed opens up to a budding plant. Part of the seed grows up toward the warmth of the sun above the dirt. Part of the seed grows down into the ground. The part that grows mostly beneath the dirt is called the root of the plant. The part that grows up above the ground is the stem of the plant or the trunk of the tree. Some tree roots are so big you can see them growing above the ground. The root absorbs or soaks up water and nutrients or food in the soil. This water and food goes up into the stem or trunk of a tree and out to the leaves, flowers, and fruit. Roots also grip the earth and keep the plant from falling over. Plants grow toward the sun because they need sunlight to live. The leaves grow out from the plant to catch and use the sunlight and air to produce more food for the plant. A plant needs food and energy from the sun. When we eat plants, we put their energy into our body. Our body needs the same things so we can grow and be healthy. We can eat the fruit that grows from the plant stem, the roots like carrots or peanuts, and the leaves of a plant like lettuce or spinach. Every time we eat plants, we get vitamins. Vitamins are made inside the plant with the help of the sun. Some plants make seeds that drop on the ground so more plants will grow. The seeds are found in the flowers or the fruit of the plant. People, animals, and birds will often eat the seeds. Have you eaten sunflower seeds, nuts, or rice? Those are some seeds we can eat. Birds might perch on a plant and peck out the small seeds for their dinner. Many flowers make pollen. Pollen has to be blown to the other plants by the wind or carried by an animal like a bee or a bird. This bee will get pollen stuck to the bee as he gets sweet nectar for his lunch. When he goes to another flower for more nectar, some of that pollen will drop off of him. The pollen enters another flower and fertilizes the egg cells. Thus, seeds are formed. Plants grow because we plant the seeds or because animals have them stuck in their fur and they drop off into the soil, 
or because the wind blows the seeds to new places. In this picture, a girl is blowing the seeds of a dandelion. Maybe you've done that. Farmers who want to grow a large field of plants plant lots of seeds. The seeds from wheat are ground up and made into flour for our bread. Tree farmers grow trees to use for boards and paper and many other things. Plants both big and small are important to people and our world. Now let's summarize what we've learned.